Bakit nang lande? Bakit nang lande? Happy New Year guys! Happy New Year Philippines! Happy New Year UK! And Happy New Year World! So, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know I'm cold na na-miss nyo ako. So, today is my day off. So, baka din tayo gumawa ng video. Pasensya na, magulo yung hair lalo ko. Kailangan nyo tanggapin na mahangin at magulo yung hair ko. And, if nanonood lang kayo ng mga videos ko at hindi pa kayo nagsusubscribe, please, 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 please hit like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification bell para sa mga bagong videos ko. So, pag-isip-isip ko na ang gagawin ko ngayon, isi-share ko lang naman sa inyo yung mga mm, 10 medical abbreviations na na-encounter ko during my first two months sa aking trust which is St. George's. So, habang ako'y papunta sa Wilco and mag-grocery, samahan niyo ako. And let's discuss the 10 medical abbreviations. So, let's go! <laughs> So, I'm back. So, nalakad lang muna tayo while I discuss yung 10 medical abbreviation. So, kukunin ko muna yung kodigo ko. And let's start. Here's my kodigo. Resibo. Diba? Gusto nyo yun? Sana naririnig nyo ako, diba? Anyway, number one. Okay. I'm sure narinig nyo na to sa ibang vloggers, kay Nurse Even, and sa other co-nurse that's not in chance, sa mga kunars not in chan. I think you have heard this. Ayan. Gulo ng boko. So, number one on my list is NBM or nail by mouth or sa American or sa Pilipinas. Nothing for RM or NPO or fasting. So, yeah. So, I'm sure narinig nyo ito sa mga ibang vlogs. Pero, iba. Ako kasi parang, nung narinig ko yung accent na, ala, wala na. Hindi ko na alam yung NBM. Pwede ko sabihin. Hindi pa. Kailangan kong i-process yung accent at maalala yung pinanood ko nung nakausap ko yung patient. At tinatanong niya ako ko if NBM ba siya. So, ayun. Share ko lang yun. So, NBM. Ayan. So, number two is IVABX or OABX. So, actually, self-explanatory na siya. Nung nakita ko siya during endorsement, ah, IV antibiotic or oral antibiotic siya. So, ayan. So, number three. I'm sure ito na bump ni na to sa, sa mga vlogs. Ganon. So, I have here MSU or what we call midstream urinalysis. There was a midstream catch or something. But MSU midstream urinalysis. Tip na kakita kayo sa uh, doctor's order or documentation ng doctor na M for MSU. So, yun, midstream urinalysis. Number four, ito sariling sikap ko na naman to. R slash V so it means review or reviewed nakalagay dun sa endorsement R slash view dietitian so naisip ko actually ka confirm ko kung ibig sabihin ba ng R V is reviewed so sabi nila reviewed daw yun so yun R slash V reviewed so number 5 I'm sure alam nyo na rin to I've got to walk. Number five is to walk. So it means trial without catheter. So yun. Di ba kung sa Pilipinas um, nag uh, bladder training dito 
hindi na nila binabladder training. So, kumbaga parang inonote mo na lang kung ano oras, kung kailan mo tinanggal yung catheter and then watch out na lang for urinary retention. So, guys, balik na muna tayo sa flat because it is raining. Doon ko na lang ipapagpatuloy ang ating abbreviation. Hi nako. Hirap ng buhay o or W. <laughs> uh. Day off ka, gagawin mo laba, luto, grocery. Tara, independent yan. So, number six. I have here DOA. So, pagkakaala, pagkakaalam ko yung DOA is dead on arrival. Diba? But dito, tawag nila date of admission. So, akala ko na nakita ko yung DOA sa endorsement sheet. Akala ko, dead on arrival siya na dumating sa emergency. But, it means pala is it means uh, date of admission. So, ayan. So, number seven, I have here POC. So, POC meaning, kung mga mga pauwi na, yung kumbaga package of care. So, yung package of care, kumbaga, pagkakaalam ko, yun yung mga combination ng mga services para kumbaga para i-assess if ready na for discharge of patient something ganon please again correct me if I'm wrong <laughs> please comment down below if you know what's the meaning of package of care but parang pagkakaalam ko it's like a combination ng mga services put together para i-assess you needs ng patient as part of you know care plan something so number seven number seven abajo i've got here salt s-a-l-t or s-l-t so it means speech and language therapy so meron kaming uh, stroke patient don and nakalagay din sa endorsement needs salt referral so sabi ko ano yun so syempre nagtanong ako kasi hindi ko na talaga alam diba so sabi sa akin ng aking mentor it means speech and language therapy so it provides treatment support and care for children and adults who have difficulty with communication eating and drinking and swallowing so ayoyin hala number 8 na pala yung number 8 pala yung um tagwito yung salt or s-a-l-t so number 9 on my list is s-f-b-c or strict fluid balance chart so kung nakakita kayo ng s-f-b-c it means strict i-n-o so ayan so kadalasan sa mga renal patients ganyan kasi if hindi nyo na itatanong share ko lang naman nasa renal and transplant ward ako ng St. George's so yon so if makakita kayo ng SFBC it means um, strict fluid balance chart so kailangan ninyong encourage yung patient na magsulat ng you know iniinom nila bigay kayo ng jog for uh, para ma-measure yung urine, ganyan. So, ayan. And, if bonus, <laughs> if nakakita kayo ng FR, it means fluid restriction. So, FR 500 mils. So, ibig sabihin, uh, yun, fluid restriction 500 uh, mls. So, and last but not the least, I have here PR bleed. So, PR bleed, nung na-encounter ko siya, kasi ganito yan, nag-change ako ng pad ng patient and may nakita akong spot na blood dun sa pad niya. 
So sinabi ko sa nurse in charge ko. Sabi ko, uh, sabi ko I changed the pad and I've noticed uh, spotting. <laughs> spotting. <laughs> this sabi niya, sabi ng nurse, oh, so probably it's a PR bleed. Sabi niya, ganda. Eh, now go. Probably it's a PR bleed. Sabi ko, what is PR bleed? Ganyan. Tas, sabi niya, oh, it's correct. Tal or perectal bleeding. So, yon. So, kung yung PR bleed, it means perectal or perectum bleeding. Yon. So, I think that's all. I'll try my very, very best na makahanap ng mga unusual medical abbreviation. And, um, wag kayo mahihing magtanong sa mga senior ninyo sa mga sister ninyo although syempre diba busy sila but for your own safety so I hope may natutunan kayo kahit ang gulo ng camera ko kasi gulo ng buhok ko so I'll see you soon bye happy new year